Hi, boys and girls. Corona and life updates. They're working on antibody cures for this coronavirus. I would probably rather have antibodies over a vaccine. I don't like vaccines. The last vaccine I had was when I got into my motorcycle accident. Uh, it was for a lockjaw or something. I think it was a tetanus shot. I don't know. But I only got that because, like, I got into a motorcycle accident and I apparently never had my tetanus shot or whatever the shot is to prevent lockjaw or some bullshit. So I got that because why the hell not? But otherwise, I don't normally get shots. I don't get vaccinations. Because, it's sure, it's supposed to strengthen your immune system and, you know, it, it makes your body build up antibodies to whatever illnesses are out there. Like, if you get a flu shot, it, you know... Your body builds up antibodies for that flu, so you have a much less chance of catching it. But at the same time, supposedly there's like long-term side effects to vaccinations. Like it just fucks up your immune system. It makes your immune system like weaker or something. It's kind of ironic. I don't know. I've always been neutral about vaccinations. That's why I've only had one vaccination in like the past 10 years. And I think that's also why I never get sick. The only thing I ever catch is the common cold because my immune system is actually pretty strong up until, you know, I started having to get on this stupid immune suppressing medicine. But I'm, I'm assuming, I'm hoping that I won't have to be on it forever, maybe a year or two until maybe something different comes out, assuming this medicine even works. But they already have antibodies that are supposedly another cure for coronavirus. They give you the antibodies and you're gonna apparently be immune to the coronavirus. By the time we come out with anything like this, it's probably gonna mutate, especially when we have to deal with the second wave next winter and it's gonna start all over again and they're gonna have to tweak the stupid vaccine and have new antibodies or some bullshit. I don't know, I don't even fucking care. It's whatever at this point. I mean, we're, you know, the worst has already passed. We're halfway through the pandemic already, you know? the We're in the eye of the storm right now, but the worst has already passed. I mean, we're about to hit 5 million infections. We're going to be at 5 million by June. I already predicted 5 million inf uh, infections with this virus by June, and we're at 4.5 million, like 4.6 million right now. So my prediction of 5 million is almost spot on. Like, I can guarantee you by June, we're going to hit at least 5 million infections. So... Uh, I mean, I, I tend to predict this kind of shit pretty well. I don't know why. I mean, I'm just, I just give it my best educated guess. And I said roughly 5 million. I predicted this all the way back in like, I think the towards, towards the end of January, I was predicting about 5 million of these infections by June. And I'm going to be spot on. I'm going to make another video talking about this in June, showing, you know, the confirmed cases by then. I can guarantee you it's going to be roughly 5 million. It's going to probably be a little bit over 5 million. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to ride my bike around more. See ya, ball sacks.